Hello. Oh, hi, Santa. How are you? Good. Come. How are you? Very well. Very well. Thanks for coming. So, what is PRP ovarian rejuvenation? Uh, okay. All of a sudden. So, <laughs> PRP is platelet-rich plasma. It's basically one layer of your own blood. So, it, the blood has red blood cells, red blood cells, plasma, and platelets. So, what we do is we take blood from the arm, and then patients will wait in the lobby for an hour or so, and then we prepare the PR cream from her own blood without adding anything to it. It would be a small layer that we put in a syringe. That's what PRP and PRP has been used for a lot of things, such as hair loss, uh, dentistry, knee injuries, uh, facial rejuvenation, a lot of things. So how is it done at RFC? How it's done? So the way it's done, patients first, they need to schedule a consultation. After the consultation, my team will We'll schedule the PRP and the PRP patients will come. We take blood from her arm, four tubes. She wait in the lobby an hour or so. Then we prepare the PRP and then we call her and we take her to the procedure room. Now PRP can be placed in the ovaries, can be placed in the uterus. The way it's placed in the ovaries is we, can, we take her, we put her in a procedure room such as this room. And then we, um, with, a, with an ultrasound guidance, we do vaginal ultrasound and then we uh, go through the vaginal wall to the ovaries and inject the PRP. Another option is patients can be put to sleep five minutes with the propofol with an anesthesiologist upstairs and then um, they won't feel anything um, at all. Yeah. Now for the uterus, it's done in any of these rooms and it's done as an infusion, like a water ultrasound or like a, a IUI. There's no need for any anesthesia and um, that helps with implantation. What makes me a candidate for PRP? So candidates for PRP are women who, number one, they have a history of poor egg quality or poor, poor egg quantity. So for example, if someone has um, premature ovarian insufficiency, which is early menopause before the age of 40, when you have early menopause in their um, early 40s to mid 40s also are candidate. Even women who have late uh, 40s still have a period, they are a good candidate because the PRP can ultimately improve the quality of their eggs as well. And by the way, the Greek uh, team started PRP 10 years ago and they were able to show that PRP can activate dormant eggs inside the ovaries of a woman who are menopausal and they were able to produce eggs and make babies using their own eggs. Are there any side effects to PRP? I'm not aware of any side effects of PRP, but anytime you put a needle in anybody's body, we have to tell them there's a risk of infection, bleeding, uh, um, injury to bowel or bladder. Uh, but honestly, thank God we haven't encountered any side effects. And I'm not aware of any side effects because the PRP is really the patient's blood layer. So we're not adding any chemicals to it. And I don't see a reason why it would cause any, any side effects. Um, and lastly, how long do the effects of PRP last? The PRP usually takes at least two weeks to kick in. And then it's good for three months. So if after three months it works or it doesn't work, women can contemplate doing another one if they want, uh, because one, if it works for them in the past, the second one, you know, very likely is gonna work. Two, if it doesn't work the first one, in three months, maybe the second one might have an additive effect to the first one and help um, patients as well. Now, full disclosure, PRP might or might not work for patients like anything else. I would say 50% of patients, at least, we've seen some improvement in either egg quantity or egg quality. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Dr. You're welcome. Thanks for your questions.